Here in Trinity College Dublin, for the last five years, we've been trying to understand how scavenging in vultures allows them to survive in their environments. We hit upon the idea that using this knowledge, we can go back in time to try better figure out how dinosaurs managed to also use scavenging as a way to survive. Scavengers are animals that rely on finding already dead animals to eat instead of hunting them themselves. These species can be very important in terms of recycling nutrients, energy, but also for clearing off disease-ridden carcasses in the environment. While we can go out to the field and literally watch different animals such as vultures and hyenas scavenge, we can't unfortunately, as much as I'd like it, return to the past and watch dinosaurs do the same. Using computers, we built the entire environment that these dinosaurs would have lived in, a type of Sims for Dinosaurs edition. Using this, we could then calculate how many calories these dinosaurs might have been getting from scavenging in comparison to hunting. We built these computer simulations using what we know about current animals. Small animals require less calories than large animals, and we know how that changes with body size. We also know that large animals take a lot of effort to walk around. And by using models of how dinosaurs walked, we can also calculate how much energy and calories they expend doing that walking. What we found was surprising. Although we'd expect the large dinosaurs to do quite well in scavenging, we found that, well, they really suck at it. It just takes too many calories to move that big bulk around and not enough payout of the amount of carcasses and dead bodies they find for food. Likewise, the smaller guys, the little tiny dinosaurs the size of a turkey, they just couldn't get in on the act. They couldn't search enough area to find enough dead bodies to feed their appetite. What we found was the best dinosaur scavengers were those between 500 kgs and 1,000. These include dinosaurs such as a juvenile T-Rex, which would have been a very efficient scavenger. We are very excited about these results. But coming back to the present, we're only starting to understand both how common and important scavenging is in our environments. By using our model simulation approach, we can better understand and predict the role of scavenging in a healthy environment. Thank <laughs> you.